Hi, in this video today, I would like to show you how to do an active a task in Microsoft Project. Sometimes when you are using Microsoft Project to create a plan for the project, and then if during the execution time, you want to disable some task uh, for some reason, like we don't have enough resources or some, there is, uh, some other special issue with the task, so we cannot wait at this time. We can temporarily disable it. And then in the next time when we have enough the resources, we can enable it back. So in this video today, I will guide you how to do it. Okay, let's get started. Assuming this is a project plan I will be using in this video. And you see here, the duration of this plan will be 67 days to be completed here. Okay. And for example, during the execution time, we think that we don't have enough resources to work on the task number 10. Yeah. So now we temporarily disable it. So how to this, how to disable a task in the Microsoft project? Yeah. You just go ahead to select the row of this task. This is the number, number 10. Okay, and then you take a look into the menu under list of tasks. We have we navigate to the schedules section where you can find the active or inactive or selected tasks. Yeah, so this function will help you to do some inactive tasks remaining in the project, but no longer affect to the schedule or resource. Availability and here you or you can also able to do some right click on the task and then we have the inactive task option here in the contact menu. Okay, so let me click on the function on the menu inactive. After you click in the inactive button, you can can see the task in the row number ten. Yeah, had been in gray and uh, straight through. Okay. And also the duration of this task will be included outside the uh, total timeline of this project. And you see here, before we do inactive the task, then the duration of this project will be finished in the 67 days. But for now, it is reduced 10 days. It will be the 57 days for now. Yeah. Okay. And the same thing. Here you have to disable some of the specific task. So in case if you want to be disable all of the tasks, I mean the summary task, so what happened? Yeah. And you navigate to the, the row file. We have develop home page. In the develop homepage, we have the develop backend work and as the task is develop frontend work. Okay, so if I go ahead to include this one, what happened? And you see here, because this task is done not on the, the critical path. Yeah, so I think if we disable result that here, we don't have any change in the duration. So what does it mean for a critical path? Uh, the critical path will be in the rest color in the gun chart. This is the longest lines in the project, but it's the shortest way to complete the project. Okay. And here, for example, I go ahead to inactive that trail. Yeah. That means after I disable the that trail, the that 13 and 14 will be also disrolled yeah, elective as well because it is the try task of the 12. Okay. And here, I'm going to have to disrolled the task of development. Of course, on task analysis of the development task will be this appear here. Okay. 
to serve. And then after we do some disable task here, we need to do the baseline in our project. Project, you click on the tab project and click on set baseline. Set baseline. And you click on the drop down button here. See other option in baseline because we already have another first version in the baseline. Set it up here. Yeah. Okay, all right. So I think that's all. And after you finish this video, you know how to work with the inactive task in Microsoft Project. And sometimes when we don't have enough resources, or even when the requirement is not clear for some specific task, we can disable it temporarily. Yeah. And then in the next time when we have enough information, or we have more resources for our project, we can enable it by. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye-bye. See you guys in the next video.